Is there anything I can do for you? As it happens, there is. Drahomira, a widow from Ledechko, requested my services. But it's a long way on foot. And me with my back in such dreadful pain. I simply can't face the journey. All the way from Ledechko? What, they don't have a herbalist there? They do, but she didn't want a local. She's a rich widow, inherited a butcher's shop. You know how folks like to gossip, especially about anyone who's better off than them. Do you know anything at all about exorcisms? Exorcisms? You know, banishing ghosts, smudging, spells. A haunted butcher shop. All in a day's work for me. It's not a task to be undertaken lightly. This is a real ghost. The spirit of a dead man who hasn't found peace. In order to banish him from the world of the living, you'll need to do a few things. Slit a black cock's neck on the poor soul's grave? What a despicable thought! No! Do you know what smudging is? You'll need ten poppies and some flowers from the deceased grave. Once you have all that, bring it to the house that's being haunted. Light it on fire, and the smoke will purge the place of any unwanted spirits. Sounds like fun. I'll help you. It's no game. It's a very serious matter. Drahomira was terrified. And these aren't forces to be meddled with lightly. Fine. Fine. Is there anything else I should know? That's a question for Drahomira. You'll find her in her cottage on the very edge of Ledechko. The herbalist Kunhuta sent me. I'm here because of the ghost. You don't look like you know a thing about ghosts. Why didn't she come herself? Why did she send someone so young instead? Do you know anything at all about exorcisms? Listen, you want to get rid of a ghost, don't you? If the answer is yes, then stop talking. Fine, fine. I didn't think I was talking that much. What exactly has been going on? It happens at night. Every night, now an apparition comes to me and I can't get a wink of sleep. I can't take it anymore. Whose ghost is it? His name was Alois and he had a farm not far from Ledechko. A few years ago, his farmhouse burned down with him in it. I've heard that people who die such horrible deaths seldom rest in peace. Why do you think he chose you, of all people? How am I supposed to know? Maybe because we're neighbors. We grew up together as children. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. Where is Alois buried? For the exorcism, I'll need flowers from his grave. He's laid to rest in the Sassau Cemetery by the wall. His grave is a bit overgrown with vines. I've been there a few times for a visit. The first day he appeared, I prayed at his grave but he came again just the same. I know everything I need to know. Then for God's sake, perform the ritual as soon as possible.
Hey, you bastard. What are you doing creeping around here? We've had all sorts of vermin here lately. Robbing, raping and killing, but not anymore. Now you've got us to deal with. Not a good move. I'm back with the incense. Can we begin? Good. Let's go to the cross in the bedroom. Well, what are you waiting for? Uh, I feel a bit out of my depth. This is my first time. <laughs> now you tell me. Well, get started. You've got the flowers, so it has to work. Well, here goes. Pater noster qui est in canis sanctificator omen tuum. Are you sure you're saying that right? Shh! We mustn't be interrupted. In nominate parties et filius et spirits etc. Ave Maria gratia plenty dominatrix tecum. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O Lord, may he rest in eternal peace, and may eternal light guide his way. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please, God, I can finally sleep in peace at night. Come by tomorrow to see if it worked. Look where you're going! So, did it work? Is your home free of the ghost? Oh, you're here, are you? You're lucky I didn't have to get you myself. No, it didn't work. The spirit came just the same as before, and I didn't sleep a wink. So you're saying I won't get my reward? You get paid for results, my dear, and I haven't seen any yet. At least now I know that old wives' law doesn't help. Go and see Apothecary Coniash in Ratai. I hear he's familiar with all manner of magic. Have you tried drinking a poppy decoction? I can prepare one for you. Do you honestly think I haven't tried that? Well, I have, and it doesn't work. 
Fine. I'll go and see the apothecary. Hopefully we'll come up with something that works. Do you know anything about getting rid of wandering souls? The restless dead? I might know a bit about that. It depends who wants to know. I wouldn't want to be accused of heresy. Oh, come now, Konyash. You helped me once before, so I'd like to ask you for something again. Fine. You're right, Henry. I won't lie to you. I'm interested in occult teachings and a bit of alchemy. It's far more than just old wives' tales. I truly believe it's a science. So what exactly do you need? To help a village woman from Ledechko. Her neighbor's ghost has been haunting her. He visits her every night. You don't say. Now this is interesting. Revenant spectral beings, cursed souls from beyond the grave. Yes, exactly. Her house is haunted. To put it vulgarly, my lad, to put it vulgarly. But there are spells that can banish restless souls back to the realm of the beyond. Now that's what I wanted to hear. And do you know the spells? Well, I'd like to learn at least one. But the only book I know that contains them has been classified amongst the Libri Prohibiti. I've no idea what that means. The spell's written in a forbidden book. A book that's in Latin and kept under lock and key in the monastery. It's called Liber de Mortuis, Necronomiconos. Do you need to know any more? Do you want me to steal the book? If you want to get rid of that revenant, you have no other choice. When you bring me that book, we can cast the spell together, since you don't know Latin. Fine. I'll bring the book. You'll find it in the monastery library. But it won't be easy to get in. Truth be told, I don't know of anyone who is able to break in. And out. Without getting into big trouble. I'll try.
right. God be I've got the book. Really? You're a fine fellow. Well, show me it then. Here it is. Wonderful. Come back in a little while. I need to read through it and find that spell. And here's a reward for your efforts. Oh, damn! What is it? What? What the hell are you doing? Have you read it already? Oh, Henry, it's a marvellous book. Wonderful, really. I've found what we need, but it won't be easy. The spell must be said over the grave of the person preventing his soul from resting in eternal peace, while burning something from the house he lived in. Ugh, of course. It couldn't be something easy, could it? Who said meddling with the dead would be a walk in a rose garden? You'll probably have to ask your widow a few more questions. Once you know everything, get something from his house, and find the grave of the person that's preventing him from resting in peace. Then come see me, and we'll get to banishing that ghost. Oh, Jesus, and I thought the living were troublesome. I saw the apothecary, and he reckons that ghost of yours is quite a problem. You think I don't know that? Last night, I didn't get a wink of sleep. I lay in my bed, tossing and turning, just waiting for him to appear. And did he come? For a long while, it seemed like nothing would happen. Then, towards the morning, the room grew cold as the grave. My poor heart nearly stopped beating when I heard a voice calling my name. So I fell to my knees and begged the Virgin Mary to protect me. When will this all end? You must work quickly. If this goes on much longer, I'll lose my mind. I know I will. To get rid of him, we need to cast a spell over the grave of the person who's preventing him resting in peace. I'm not sure who that person is, though. You, um... You haven't already picked out a grave site for yourself, have you? No. Henry, the truth is, I haven't told you the whole story. I'm not the one he's got unfinished business with. Well, who is it, then? I suggest you tell me everything. Alois had a wife. Her name was Larda, and she was a proper shrew, shrieking at him from sunrise to sunset. He never spent a single pleasant day with her. They must have fought like dogs. One night, Larda took a lantern and burned the whole farmhouse down with Alois inside. <laughs> Another reason not to get married, or to treat your wife kindly if you do. So, I should try and find Larda's grave, is that right? You said yourself you need to find the person preventing his spirit from resting in peace. When Alois died, Larda lost her mind. She spent days running about the woods near Tarnberg completely witless, until one day they found her body deep in the woods. Her hair was all pulled out, her face scratched up with her own fingernails. They buried her there, where they found her, but I don't know exactly where to look. I'll ask around. For the spell, I'll need something from the house where the spirit once lived. Where exactly did Alois live? It's north of here, to the left of the road from Lidechko. But there's not much left of it these days except ash and weeds. 
The farm was burned to the ground with the lois inside. Oh, that must have been a terrible death. I don't need to know anything else. I can head off now. I'm honoured that you should come to me. I hear there's a grave in the woods round here. Do you know how I can find it? You mean where they buried that mad woman? They say on some nights her ghost wanders the woods. But you'll find the grave when you head up to the woods and keep some way off to the right from the stream. It's hard enough to see in daylight. If it's dark, you're sure to get lost. Thanks. I'm sure I'll find it. If I were you, I wouldn't go looking for it. It's not a good place. Everything burned to the ground. So where can I find something that belonged to the dead? I'll take some of these pieces of charred wood. That should do. This must be it. May she rest in peace, Lord. We have everything we need. Excellent. In that case, I'm ready too. Let's meet after dark at the crossroads beyond Ledechko. I'll be there. Welcome, Henry. Ah, oh, good. You're here. Come with me.
Start the exorcism so we can go and get some sleep. <clears throat> Ziana Kanba, Zikia Kanba, Galubara, Namtabara, Ashakbara, Kikimbara, Ziana Kampa, Zikia Kampa, Galubara, Namtabara. What's that? Go on, that's what matters. Just keep going. I think that's enough. The ghost must surely be banished by now. Now let's get out of here before something worse appears. Go and see the widow tomorrow to find out if it helps. I'm going home. Thanks for the help. We cast a spell over Lada's grave. It wasn't for the faint of heart. Mary, mother of mercy. And not even that helped. What? Do you mean to tell me it was all for nothing? Only the Lord himself can help me now. I'll need the parish priest. But why didn't you go and see him right at the start? What would he think of me? Herbalists have always handled ghosts. But now what other choice do I have? Go and ask him what I can do. Fine. I'll go and see him. But I swear this is the last thing I'm doing for you. You have my gratitude. Take a few groschen for everything you've done for me so far. Once the ghost is gone, you'll get more. God bless. Good health to you. There's a widow being haunted by a ghost. Can anything be done about that? A revenant. Tell me more about it. For the last few nights, her long-dead neighbor has been paying her a visit in her house. She's tried to drive him out, but neither prayer nor spells have any effect. That's why she's turning to you for help, Father. Hmm. In the scripture, it's written that the dead shall rise again only on the day of judgment. I suspect it may be something on the widow's own conscience that's haunting her. Do you know anything more about that? Well, she says it's the ghost of Alois, a farmer whose wife burned him alive in his own cottage. My, my. That would make a soul restless, all right. But I believe there must be something else that's keeping the widow from sleeping. A farmer, jealous wife. I'd ask the widow if there's not more to it. My God, that never occurred to me. How little you know people. Make the widow tell you everything, you'll see. And to make amends with the deceased as well as the Lord, tell her to erect an atonement cross. A what? You ask as if you've fallen from the stars. An atonement cross. You often see them along roads. Reminders of reconciliation and forgiven trespasses. Suggest it to the widow and see how she reacts. Oh. Thank you for the advice. It was very helpful. I shall pray for the poor woman. And I'll be grateful in turn for any donation she may decide to make to the church.
I saw the parish priest. And what did he tell you? Will he come and bless my house with holy water? No. A better question is, what haven't you been telling me? I've already told you everything. I don't think so. Either tell me the truth this time, or I'll clear off and leave you with your dead friend. I... There's no use denying it any longer. I was a widow and his wife, Lada. She wasn't the kind of woman who filled her husband's heart with joy. Alois and I grew close. So, fornication? If that's what you want to call it. From time to time, we took comfort in each other's arms. Lada found out and began to make a fuss. They fought. You know the rest. You couldn't have known it would end up the way it did. Perhaps I couldn't, but I still reproach myself over it every night. For years now, I've been living with what I did. I suppose it's only just that it's finally caught up with me. My poor Alois and the children he left behind. I assume his children know nothing about it. They're already adults, but you're right. They don't know anything. Do you think it would help if I told them everything? That it would bring peace to Alois and he'd stop haunting me? I think you're on the right path now. Make up for old wrongs. Atone for your sins. Erect a memorial cross. You're right. I'll go and tell them the truth, however much they despise me afterwards. I'll do anything to get a good night's sleep again. Here's some money. Go to the quarry and order a cross be made. I'll do that. Thank you a hundred times over. I must reward you for saving my livelihood. If folk believed the stories, well, I dread to think how it could have ended up. But the bad stone wasn't even from your quarry. Still, sometimes words can hurt a man more than a blow from a mace. Here's your reward. You've earned it, lad. I need to erect an atonement cross. How much does one cost? Ten groschen. We already have one such cross ready, so if you pay now, we can have it sent wherever you want immediately. There you are. What do you think? Will he come again? I'm sure we've seen the last of him. Oh, I feel so light, I could float away at peace with the world. That's a peace I have yet to find. Mm. As you've seen for yourself, shaking off the past isn't easy. Here's a ring my husband left me. I don't even know where he got it, but it might be worth something. Take it with my gratitude. Your dad I was able to help. Thank you. And God be with you. And with you. I hope you'll finally have peaceful dreams. <laughs>